Brandon, AKA your mom's favorite workman's pomp. And today I'm gonna to be talking about something that has been, I think on a lot of people's radars lately. Um, it initially caught my eye with the artwork and I'm super excited to be talking about the Dr. Squirrel Sea Monster Map Paste. Now, where do I begin? Excuse me, Dr. Squirrel Grooming Company. Let me get it right. It's an unorthodox water-based styling clay which I like, I like, I like all of it. <laughs> so where do I begin with this product? Well, what makes this stuff unique is I look at the artwork. That's what caught my eye. So um, father and son have been basically working on a book together and then the characters from the book are also in the hair products. So to me, I think that's just like a really, really cool idea for a brand. And it's just a really, really cool idea in general. Like I said, the little monster, look at that little cutie pie. Um, that's what caught my eye. And I reached out to them and they were really kind to give me this. Uh, I'm not being paid, but they did give me their products. So this is a dry hold firm, true matte, high texture product. On the side it says, apply a small amount to blow dried hair from back to front, brush products, style your hair with comb or fingers, use blow dryer again for extra volume. So popping it open, okay. You can see it's like a, it's a pretty thick. It starts to move when you open it up, but very slowly, but you can see it's already moving. That's the consistency it is. Um, when you dip your finger in it, you can see it's got like this. Let me see if I can get it in there real good. Like, see how it's like this really creamy, stringy consistency. Oh, piss, I'm getting it on the side. Um, I really like that. It's goopy. I like the goop. The scent on this, it reminds me of, if you've ever been to like a farmer's market, it reminds me of a soap you'd find in the farmer's market. It's fresh, it smells a little piney, and definitely earthy and kind of musky. I like the scent. This is a most current iteration of this jar. And the scent, I think, is this is where it's at its best smelling. Breakdown, you can see it's got some grit to it in there. But breakdown, it's like butter, my dudes. You just put this stuff in here and keep going with it. And you'll notice it goes completely away. I had to take my ring off. <laughs> it goes completely away. Look at that. Um, putting this in your hair, now... I would suggest you break it down to where it's nothing. Or if you want some extra grip, don't break it all the way down. Much like Black Ship, I feel like this product works really good. If you're going for the volume and you're going for some good texture, like, I mean, like, look at this. I'm like already, my hair is already wanting to just kind of pop up and I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even blow dried my hair and that's with like one application. And I'm not gonna blow dry my hair. This stuff works great. Look at that. You want, you want some texture bausch? Um, <laughs> anyways, this stuff works really good application wise. If you put it in dry, you're gonna get kind of like that matted, matte look with kind of a textured style where you can, you know, if you have a blow dryer, you can comb and blow dry it at the same time if you want to. I plan on using this differently, but I can say I have tried this out with a blow dryer or just by itself like this. And you can get, when you style it, my hair is all wacky right now, but you can get like a nice textured loose look that will have good endurance and hold throughout the day. But application wise, sorry, I'm getting off on the wrong track. Application, if you're putting it in like this, you're gonna get a couple of hairs here and there. There's gonna be some minor tugging and pulling because it's a drier product. Now, if you were to wet your hair, like this, how do you like that edit? That's like a, a modern man TV, next level edit. <laughs> no, I can't compare myself to Mikey. He does quality stuff. I, I stand in front of a door. <laughs> Anyways, if you uh, wet your hair, the application is very, very different. It's a lot easier. Um, like I said, you can break it down kind of like black chip, where you wanna leave it not completely broken down. Put it in some wet hair makes the application super easy. You can see like this, if you don't break it all the way down to where it's semi-chunky, put it in some wet hair and then blow dry it, you are gonna get some freaking 
ridiculous results. As for me, I'm gonna style my hair like I normally do, but I'm just telling you, that's my secret little, little tip for y'all, is wet your hair down, put the product in, makes it application super, super duper easy, and then, on top of that, blow dry it afterwards, comb it the way you want, you're gonna get some serious volume and some serious height. But like I said, I wanted to show you that this product is easy to use multiple ways. So I showed you kind of dry at the beginning. And you'll see, the thing I like about putting this stuff in wet too, is that you can see that with, I'm just doing this with a comb, I'm not doing this with an afro pick. You can see it's gonna start drying as you're styling. So as you style, you'll be locking your style into place and let it dry naturally. It gives you a little bit to style with, you know, maybe like 10 minutes before it dries completely instead of just blow drying it. And you can get a style that you like that will hold really good throughout the whole entire day. That will have good endurance and overall really easy to style with. Now, like I said, I'm just kind of playing around with it right now. You can see really easy to use. But when you're styling it, styling a pump, and you're not using a blow dryer like this, basically, there we go, that looks really good. So basically, with something like this, you're gonna want to style it and then lock it into place, maybe put a little bit more product in the sides. For me, you'll see that the sides are kind of popping up. There's some stray pieces because they're shorter right here. That's because it's wet and it hasn't dried completely. So what I would do, and I don't need to do this right now, but what I would do for like little pieces like this is I would just put a little bit more on my hands and I'd reapply. For me, I like some crazy sides from time to time. But this right here, although it's kind of loose on the sides, this is going to dry and it's going to maintain its shape and it's going to turn matte after I dry it, after it turns, you know, because it's sunny outside, you can't see, but it'll turn matte and then it'll be good to go for the rest of the day. I find that this is a firm on the lower side. Um, it will taper off depending on how you use it, but I feel like it's pretty true to the firm, to, to being a, a firm, unorthodox, uh, water-based styling clay. Is it more water-based? Is it more styling clay? I feel like it's right in the middle. When you apply it with damp hair, it feels like a water-based. But when you apply it dry, it feels like a styling clay. So really, depending on the application and how you use it, it feels like you can get one or the other, but the end results are always the same. Good endurance, good height, good texture, um, and just super easy to use. So overall, what do I have to say about Dr. Squirrel Grooming Company Sea Monster Matte Paste Unorthodox Water-Based Styling Clay? I think it's really, really good. I like it. The scent is the only thing that I'm on the fence about, but the more I wear it, the more I like it. So overall, I'm gonna have to give this a 4.9 out of five. This is an excellent product. If you like unorthodox pomades, if you like styling clays, you can get both from this. Like I said, the different applications, put it in wet, style it that way, it feels like a pomade. Um, put it in dry, style it that way with a hair dryer and whatnot, it feels like a styling clay. You get awesome bomb results. And you can see already, it's kind of hard to tell because my hair is so dark, but you can see it's already starting to dry and firm up a little bit. Feels awesome. Wash out on this is pretty simple. I would say one to one and a half with shampoo. You could get it out with shampoo and conditioner. Overall, if you are interested in this, I think you should give it a try. Personally, I think it smells good. It's an acquired smell. Like I said, it's more earthy, kind of like uh, musky in that regards, but I think it's really nice. I think that it walks the line of being two different products like brilliantly. And I just think the artwork is super cool. Look at it. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah. I think you guys should give this stuff a try. Um, I'm excited to try the other products by them. This definitely, this uh, Dr. Squirrel Grooming Company is definitely on my radar. I'm definitely impressed. And this is something I'm gonna be wearing. I feel like it's a perfect addition to the summer. And I like it so much because I can style it like this, high and tight, so to speak, in a pump and go to work. Or on the weekend, I can just put it in my hand and go 
and have like a nice loose look. Not many products can do that and maintain that kind of, you know, that thin walking of the fence, that thin line, but this one does it. So anyways, check it out guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the uh, section below and uh, have a good one.